Hello and welcome back to the Build a 100K Pipeline in 90 Days video series. My name is Ryan Lord and I am also a tech training coordinator here on the KWU tech training team at Keller Williams. And uh, I know the last couple of videos that you've watched in this series have been really focused on building your business, understanding your database, and keeping yourself accountable. But this video is going to be about the fun stuff, marketing. Now, don't panic. Don't panic. You do not need to have a marketing degree because command is the easy button and has countless templates that are plug and play or open to as much customization as you want or are comfortable with. So I'm going to walk you through creating a design in command that you can easily leverage today on your personal Facebook page or your business page if you got that set up. So did you realize that just by having a Facebook page, you've got potentially hundreds of leads and contacts that you can start prospecting and getting into your database today. So doing these simple steps in command is going to allow you to build out this design and it's going to be a huge win for your business, gaining awareness that you are now in the real estate biz. So I'm going to demonstrate in my own command account how we can leverage the designs applet. So I'm here on designs, and again, that is the little paintbrush on canvas icon here. And we're going to start by creating a new design. It's going to ask us what type we want to build. So we're going to do a social post and click continue. And this is going to take us into our integrated partnership with a website called WeBrand or Designer. And it's going to allow us to select from all of these hundreds of templates that are already created by marketing professionals for you to use in your business. So for today, I'm going to go down here to leadership and agent onboarding. And we want to tell the world that we're with KW now, right? So Let's go ahead and select whichever template looks the most appealing to our eye. I'm going to pick this nice square one here. And selecting that template just by clicking on it is going to take me into this fully powered creative suite where I can now edit it again as much or as little as I would like to. So immediately I'll see all of these available editing options on the left. I've got images, text, logos, stickers, etc. Uh, and my images are already open to my assets. So since I've got my marketing profile filled out, I already have my agent headshot conveniently available to me here within my image assets. So all I need to do to tweak this and customize it to my own need is select any individual element of the template. So I'm just going to click once on the photo of this lovely young lady here. And though she looks great, that's a beautiful smile. I want to make sure this is branded to me. So I'm going to replace it with my own. And it's just as simple as coming back over here to my image on the left and clicking the replace image button. And just like that, my image is now inserted into this particular template and I can utilize this um, with my own branding. So now that I've got my image in there, I can select on a text field and edit the text. Here's a tip. If you want to make sure you're not messing with any of the formatting when you're editing text in designs, rather than trying to click into the text here and type in things and it could move around, we can actually use this tool called the typewriter available right up here in the top bar where we can see all of our font and size options. And that'll allow us to edit the plain text without messing with any formatting. So welcome to the KW family. I'll insert my own name here, save those changes. And that's going to update automatically on my design as well. So same thing with any other elements that I would like to tweak. If I want to make sure this logo is my own, Designs is going to dynamically note that that's a logo and take me to the logos folder where I can use any of these from within the KW workspace or the one that I've uploaded myself if it's in my assets from my marketing profile. So I'm going to go ahead and select this great KW logo here, kind of go with the grayscale of this image. And now just like that, it's taken me about 30 seconds and this image is customized to me. So I can download this up here and utilize it in any format I like to. I can click done and it's going to take me right back into command. So I'll save my changes. And now we're back here in command where I can utilize this design however I need to. 
So this is just one of many ways. I know I just uh, spent this time talking about a design you can leverage on a Facebook page, but you can also make print pieces. Uh, you can create email designs or videos, and there's a whole host of designs and templates that you can leverage. So just to show you a couple of other examples of what I'm referring to, I've got a design here for advertising a listing. So this is a great new listing that I've got on the market. I actually have utilized the KWLS integration to search an address and pull the listing details directly into my design, which is really cool. And just like I did before, I can easily swap these out. And now look how wonderful that looks without me having to really do much work to change it. I've got design templates for events that I would like to advertise as well. So these are just a few of the examples. And really, now that you know it's there, you can dive in feet first and leverage this applet to create designs within command that will ultimately improve and bring value to your business. So don't be shy. Get in there. It's all yours to start getting creative. Now, creating super cool designs and marketing pieces is really great for current contacts and future leads or building your database. But you might be wondering, how do we continue to get new leads and feed this database over time? Well, if we don't have any new leads, ultimately, we won't have any new sales. So if you want your business to keep running and growing over time, you have to watch the next couple of videos. Be sure to email learncommand at kw.com with any questions from this video. And we'll see you in the next one.